Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Standard Costing MCQs. Our mission is to get complete marks in all the MCQs that ICA will be asking in exams. For that, it is necessary that you know the logic of every MCQ. Because in exams, MCQs will not be same as the module. So therefore, unless and until you know the logic, it is impossible that you will be getting everything correct. Consider joining our Telegram channel for all the updates for Costing FM and for Final CA SCMPE. So let's see what we all have in store today. Controllable variances are best disposed of by transferring to cost of goods sold, B cost of goods sold and inventories, C inventories of WIP and finished goods and D costing profit and loss account. Think of the correct answer. This we must have done in theory somewhere. Think of the correct answer and comment below. Now, whenever you compute any variance in standard costing, in reality, it is always divided into two parts. One of them is controllable. One of them is uncontrollable. Uncontrollable means that it was not your mistake. To give you a small example, standard price was rupees 2. Standard price was set at rupees 2. But then in market, no, there was huge shortage of this kind of a material, which we could not have anticipated in the beginning. So the standard price only increased to 2.5. In the market, the normal price only increased to 2.5. Our purchase manager was a bigger idiot. He purchased at 2.6. So standard was set at rupees 2. He purchased at 2.6. So therefore, there was a variance of how much? 0.6. This 0.6 can be in two parts. Out of that, 0.5 is uncontrollable variance. Uncontrollable, it is not mistake of the purchase manager. But then other 0 0.1, had he negotiated properly, he would have purchased at 0. Point, uh, he would have purchased at 2.5, but then he purchased at 2.6. So therefore, this 0 0.1 will be nothing but controllable variance. Controllable variance is our loss. The uncontrollable part should be charged to the goods because material cost should have been 2, but then due to abnormal factors, it became 2.5. This 0 0.5 should be increasing our cost. So therefore, it should be charged to cost of goods sold and inventories, kind of your supplementary method. But the other part of 0 0.1 in this case is our mistake. If it is our mistake, it should be charged to our costing profit and loss account. So therefore, all the controllable variances means the variances which are due to our mistake, which we could have controlled, but then we did not. So therefore, those are our losses here. It does not mark increase in cost. It marks our losses. So therefore, they should be charged to costing PNL. So out of the four, I guess answer should be D over here. Let's see. Yeah, that's the correct answer.